In this Caden Live tutorial I will show you how to mask and obscure a moving face or object. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing and rendering in Caden Live. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well I've brought this video clip into Caden Live and I'm going to obscure this chap's face here. Um, one thing before you start, if the person you're trying to obscure is um, turning their face um, in different directions, this may not work. Now there is a better way of, of masking an object but it involves using a different video editor. Um, if I was going to do this normally I would do it in Blender. Now I have left a link on how to do this in Blender below this tutorial. Okay, so make sure that your um, video clip is at the beginning so you're, you're tracking from frame one. And What you're looking for is next to blur and hide have to click on the little arrow and then hold your mouse, left mouse button down over auto mask and drag this over the clip and you'll end up with an area that is very pixelated and the one thing that might happen is you won't be able to do anything with the um, size of it in the screen if you can't see a red line around um, or video or around the mask is because you haven't got this turned on here which is the uh, show hide edit mode so if it doesn't look if it looks like this just left click on the show hide edit mode okay now obviously I can't do anything with it right now it won't move or anything so what I would do if this happens is just reduce it in size here a bit so just Hold your left mouse button down over the size and move it down to reduce it in size to something like, I don't know, 10% or as long as you can see it. So we'll, we'll make it 20%. So with your pointer over the middle, hold down your left mouse button and drag the middle over the face you want to obscure and release your left mouse button. Now it, nothing probably will happen so you may need to press your left mouse button again. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is unlink the width and the height. So I'm going to use the lock aspect ratio button and just left click on it. This means I can change the size using these corners. So using your left mouse button just hold it down and change the size of the mask so it covers the face you want to obscure. Now the larger the mask, especially if it's including other objects or people that move, um, it, it won't work, it'll get confused so you need to make it reasonably small and just cover the area you want to mask. Bearing in mind that if somebody's moving towards you, obviously the mask may need to be fractionally bigger. Okay. So now I've changed the size. Let's go and let's go for that. See if this will work. Okay. So I've now placed the mask over this chap's face. Come over to the auto mask box and left click on analyze and you should see a little bar coming across here. When it's finished, if you press play, if you're lucky, the area will be masked. Ignore this tracking point. And that's all there is to it really. Um, I won't go into rendering, like I said at the beginning, I assume you have a little bit of knowledge of editing and rendering in Caden Live. If this um, doesn't work for you, I would advise looking at um, something like Blender. Um, and as I said, origi 
originally that I have got a tutorial on doing this you can actually scan even when people disappear by moving your mask about so if this chap was moving in this direction and went behind this person here I could still track it but uh, Caden Live wouldn't do that it would lose the um, track point so as I just said hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching Cheers.